Someone committed a trespass regarding their castings. Orakan, uh, the son of Kami, the son of Zepti, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of their cast things. So the anger of the Lord burned against the children of Israel. Chapter number 8, I'll read again at verse number 1. Now the Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. <coughs> Excuse me. Take all the people of war with you and arise. Go up to Ai. See, I have given into your hand the king of Ai, his people, his city, and his land. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I also feel like I want to read verse 30 of chapter number 8. Now Joshua built an altar to the Lord God of Israel in Mount Ebo, as Moses, the servant of the Lord, had commanded the children of Israel, as it is written in the book of the law of Moses, an altar of the whole stones over which no man has welded an iron to, and they offered in it burnt offerings to the Lord and sacrificed peace offerings. And there in the presence of the children of Israel, he wrote on the stone a copy of the law of Moses, which he had written. Father, I pray that um, you will connect us with what we had heard a little earlier last Sunday and push us to the conclusion. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We say that victory is yours if you want it. The choice is normally yours. If you want it, then victory is yours. I know all of us long for victory. I long for victory. I long for victory. I want to be a victor. I don't want to be a victim. I want to be a victor. I want to be above, not beneath. I want to be a victor. I want to walk above the water. I don't want to go to be consumed by the storm. I want God to lift me above the storm. I want God to bless that which I do with my hands. I want victory. Victory. I want victory. And we we know where we, 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 we read last time and we know what we said. We, we give you, I gave you two, two points and we'll look at the third one. But for those that were not in, especially our sisters, it's good to say where we are coming from. We are coming from the story of I. I. I was a small city, very tiny. And after the victory of the great city of Jericho, the children of Israel did something in Jericho that caused them to be defeated in I. And I want to say to you that you can do something inside or within your victory which will affect you when you have a small city or some small thing that you want to do and you cannot do because in the first there was disobedient or there is something that you did which was not under the instruction of God. God had instructed the children of Israel go around Jericho six days. Go there once every day and six days, but on the seventh go around it seven times, which means it was doable. And I want to tell you the amazing thing is they did it without saying anything. You know, at the first day, I think the people from Jericho wanted to be ready to fight with these guys. But when these guys did not raise any finger, they just went around, I think it was becoming interesting. It's like wake up and see the guys that don't know what they are doing. They went around it, but it was in obedience to God. When you obey God, some people will not know how victory is going to come your way. I know there are some people who wonder, how can I prosper in this country? But if God wants you to prosper, I tell you, my brother, my sister, you will prosper. Akisema utabarikiwa. Hakuna anaiza here. That's what the singer sang, which is true and I believe it. That God, when he wants to bless me, he doesn't ask my neighbors. Because I have some neighbors that don't want me to be blessed. You know, normally sometimes I think when the church prospers, every, every person around the church compound will be happy. But not everybody is happy when the church prospers. Actually, even making the road here to here. Some people say we are spoiling it. You know, and you're making it. This one from, I know some of you want us to help build. Amen, amen. amen. A cooperative up to here. Even But you see, we cannot. You know why? The country cannot allow us. If we put stone, normally when we drop them, they say we are dumping. You cannot build them. They have to agree with you. You remember they did uh, a caravan down here. We cannot take it. You can't take it. 
If you take it wa kukute umeiba. Lakini sasa imekuwa ikiimbiwa na maji. Oh I wish they had. Hata afadhali wakakubali niichukue ningekuwa nimeikoroga mahali. But that is them. But the neighbors might look at that and think we are. But sometimes it's good to be associated with good things. Yeah, oh kanisa kanisa kanisa. Oh bless the name of the Lord. But sometimes you are blamed for something that actually you have no idea about. Amen. Amen. For example, home depot yesterday. Home depot yesterday. Si kulikuwa na maji. Si alikuwa meja home depot. Kulikuwa na swimming pool hapo. Inje. Home depot. Haikuingia ndani lakini home depot. Kwa sababu mto, unajua kitu inaitwa mto. Wazima man, yule mto wazima man. Lazima at a period of time that river demands its own course, its own route. Which means everybody around there really suffered. Ai. Chief Friday tumefikiria kwa sababu kulikuwa na shida kidogo tuende hivi. Tukaenda kidogo tukakuta mtu umekasirika umejaa hapo sasa na watu ha iko umejaa hapo and you had a choice my sister either ubebwe na mtu na mgongo bao bao <laughs> ama ubebwe na ndudhi 50 na silikuwa hapo when others are complaining others are saying kama ni kero mgongo bao bao ndudhi 50 up to a very short distance but i'm saying is that because every every often if you have taken anything from the river the river will come and demand it even the house in uruma the river came and demanded it it weakened the foundation if the foundation was not strong and what happened it collapsed anything you have taken from the river the river will come for it so if i were you I would look at what I have taken so that I can return before it happens. So the children of Israel are coming from the victory of Jericho. Have you ever been in victory? Have you ever been in a mood of celebration? Have you ever felt, oh, this is great, you know? Like the parents that were here, I tell you, when they got the result, they were very happy. But when they got the blessing, Lotua National School, Lotua High National School, and somebody says, Lotua what? Lotua where? And, and we, because of this system, Taranganya High, Lunga Lunga High, Uko Kwale Pakani, and then you are wondering, Sasa Uko Nako, where is that? No wonder Salome said, Unaitwa Shule, Namtoto wana Matsizuri, Paka Unashaka, Ugua, Uko Nako, Niwapi. But you know what? Then that struggle as we prayed, then God started placing those children, boys and girls, in schools. And I normally say this you might not go to the school of your choice, but God will place you to the school of His choice. Some of those girls were placed in schools that actually. They never dreamt about. But God, na mungu na mwitana nani? Uyu mungu? Ni mungu. Wana yesu wa peresifa. And so victory. So the, the, you are rejoicing. You are happy. Oh God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I bless you. For the victory of getting my child to high school. Then when you finish that victory. Kitu inaitwa pesa. Inakugonga inashidwa hata unalaumu yule Mungu tena wewe Mungu wewe Mungu nani alikwambia unipeleke Renana sasa angalia pesa ya Renana you know at first oh thank you lord mtoto wangu ameenda wapi national school na kuru hai alafu Mungu sasa wewe wewe unijua mimi naweza afford Committee high. <laughs> you know, some of us behave that way. But I want, have come to tell you that this God, what he has done for you in the fast, he can repeat the same without a sweat. Amen. But you have to obey him. 
The victory in Jericho caused these people not to rejoice in God. And they did not know that Achan had stolen something. Achan took some gold, but it was cast. You can have gold, but it is cast. You can have money, but it is cast. Achan had wealth, but they were cast. And it caused our whole children of Israel to be cast. But when they were destroyed, Achan and his family and his relatives, then God came down and brought deliverance. But before then, they did not know. They came from victory. And then they saw a little town called Ai. And they said, Joshua, you know pride, and I told you last time, pride. 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 When you beat your chest, actually, pride comes just before, just a little before a fall. So if you are proud, we can guarantee you there is a fall coming. So what did we say last time we said this? That victory, as far as God is concerned, for the victory of I, because they were going to I, that victory was already promised. It was in the promise of God. That they were going to conquer every territory, actually the whole of Canaan. They were going to possess it. It was every place where they would step with their, with their feet, they were going to possess it. So it was promised. There are some things that you don't need to do anything. It's already a promise for you. All what you need is to obey him and walk in his counsel because the promise is already there. There is a promise for you. Then I told you the next point was that promise, you have to pursue it. Tell your neighbor, pursue it. You cannot stay like there is nothing. If God has promised you heaven, Holiness and righteousness without which no man shall see God will be something that you need to equip yourself with. You cannot play around. It's like someone who is promised to be married and then you mess with her. Yeah, she didn't do it. If you have a promise, keep yourself holy and righteous before God. God has promised that he, we are the bride of Christ, aren't we? Then we need to keep ourselves. The promise is there. Let's pursue the promise. And I said this, some of the sins, some of the struggle that we go through, you cannot defeat by saying no. La. And then you are still there. La. Because some of those situations, what you need to do is to take off. Now watch a shot. Come on, attack a shot. You know, attack a shot. Attack a shot. Attack a shot. Why? Because some, some of the situation and the, the circumstances and the things that put us down are little, but because of our pride, we have said, I'm able to handle it. Friends, we cannot handle the devil. We cannot handle the temptation. But some of them, when they come, we can resist them. Resisting is pushing. And the move was Resist the devil and he has flee from you. So there are some times that I resist. She and she and Shindwe Troka. When you tired up in your body, you know, you resist him. I'm a king of the top of the paga. A pana king of the top of the Yule Alia in gear. Dia Natoka. Now Alia in gear and the way. Why if you hammer? Only with the one where Maradina Magonja Alia in gear and the way. So we resist. So there are some sins that come our way and what God is calling us is resist the devil. Oh yes, there are some situations that come and all what we need to do is to rebuke the devil. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That sometimes the devil comes, what he needs you to do is to flee away, not to say no and jump around there. You know, in the first service I said this. I, I don't know. You know now, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. By the way, how do you thrive? 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 
I said, there you are, you're saying, hey, hey, continue, what else do you need to? <laughs> no wonder they say, Sure, sure, and Guka are very good. You know what I told them? I need to You know why they want to come? How will this be? Give them Nataka to Kuo. Nataka with Desha Gari and Desha Nikiti, Pereka Nigari. Nayo, after you, Pereka, I don't know what I'm told of Uriya Nigari, Kiti Nigari. Anyway, now it's good that you laugh. Now I can tell you this point. This pursuing of my victory, I said this in the first in the first service. When I was in high school myself, I got saved in high school, and I started preaching in high school. Good. Actually, when I was in form one, I would preach with the kipande. The guys who come here and tell you that I had no, they are right. Not go the makoro bakeu. The actually mahura rajeki. You know, it's like with the kipande. A preacher of the word, great. But then revival shook us around 74, 75. The revival that hit us is that the body is dead. Have you heard of that? The body is dead. When I touched mine, I would feel pain, so mine was not dead. So you didn't. In the first time, as I said, Dada umeokoka. Nandugu umeokoka. Lakini mmeka maskani ambayo inaweza chochote chaweza kutoke. Either one of you anawekene yule mgini muko. Na yule anawekene wanaanza kuomba. Oh, mungu, siyo mkono huyo haodoe. Lakini dani unasema, it feels good. But there is a spirit which is na mkono huyo. See? So in, in the 70s, what happened is that when the revival of Mwiri Umekufa, a few of the seniors, guys that had gone to college, they were teachers, and so on, started having miracle babies. And would run for their weddings, would make weddings very fast. But me, poor me, I did not know. And some of those, by the grace of God, I was the MC. I used to be a very good MC. Until I discovered from them, what happened is that they would visit their girlfriends and boyfriends, and because the body is dead, instead of looking for the brother nearby so that you can go and sleep with the brother or sister nearby, you would decide, Imeri, kufa, kablanketi kamoja, unajifundika. Wili usiku, inafufuka. Utakuwa mujiza, anapatikana. But if I'm going to pursue I'm going to pursue my victory. There are things that friends, I'm going to say no, and that hand I will remove it. Dugu, tuwa hii mkono, gojea. Ata afadhali tuwa ne mapema. The other Sunday I told you, there is a guy we went at in this church very, very quickly. Ati ya meretewa muke, na wazazi. And they were both the pastors. Mwako za moja alikuwa bishop. Kuli alimuleta alikuwa bishop. Baba yake alikuwa bishop. Wakukuja na mama. Sama tumekuletea huyu pia chakuwe yako. Si muna penda naga ya ba sasa kutoka leo. Mukae pamoja si tunarudi. Haka kutia mbio. Because he was a good young man. Pastor, joo tuombe. Eh, na ombea mkua na nani. We, kutia mtuombe. Nimeletua mke. Na nijambo zuri sana baba hako kude na mama. Nika pigia dugu. Mahali, dugu kutia unisaidie. Huyu msichana umondoe huko mara moja. Afadhali tutekeneze ya rusi ya mwezi moja. You know, we would rather do something for you so that you don't burn, but you get to where God wants you to be. Oh man, the silence is, is there, is awesome. We say it, there is a word of winning. When the Lord speaks to Joshua, uh, God tells him to go to I, because there is a word. But also, there is a word on waiting. They that wait upon the Lord, they are going to renew their strength. It's good to wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. And the Bible reminds us to wait upon the Lord. Because they that wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. Psalms 37, 34 says, Wait on the Lord and keep his ways, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Psalms 27, 14, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. 
Psalm 27 verse 4. If they would have waited, conquering I, God allowed them to take the spoils. Walikuwa mekubaliwa. Kama haka ni angiagoja tu kidogo. Hangia kufa. Watuwa hangia kufa. Na ingia kuwa ni jambo la busara sana kwa. Na leta point number three. Victory is preserved. Your victory is preserved. Is there. The victory is there. Your victory is preserved. If you wait on the Lord, your victory is guaranteed. It's promised, it's pursued, but it is also preserved. The Lord knows I need to win. Therefore, victory is guaranteed for me in the name of the Lord. So Israel followed the plan of God. And as they did, there are things that happened. One, God gave them the plan like he had given them in Jericho. Meaning, for I, they went with the arm of flesh. For Jericho, they had God. God tells them what to do and they did, they won. The second I victory was because they had what God told them. And God told them, those guys know they beat you the last time. So they will be ready to beat you next time. But this time, have an ambush. Hide yourself somewhere. And then call them out. And run. Run as if you are, you are being defeated. And then you that are in the ambush, go back, burn the city. And let the people who are pursuing, when they see the city burning, their heart will melt. And that's what happened. The winning was because God gave instruction. They do it. And friends and my brothers, my sisters, when we hear the instruction and follow them, we are going to conquer whatever mountain that there is before us. The Lord will give us victory. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He gave them victory. But I tell you this. Our biggest danger is that we group our strength. We, we say, He ni pepo kubwa inataka guvu kubwa. Who told you that? Every spirit, what can conquer it is the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. It doesn't matter how big or how small, it is the name of Jesus, it is the blood of Jesus. When you miss that and think you can handle it, that's the time you start losing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now when God told them to go the second time, he told them, every man of war, carry every man of war. Go with everybody who can fight. Don't leave anybody. Go carry everyone. Go to war. Obey me and go to war. Not because I is more, but because I work with the same principle. The principle of God is the same. You win one battle, with the same strength you win the next battle. The Bible says in Ephesians 6, 10, put on the whole armor of God. Not part, not part of it because it is over your head. Not part of it because it is on your feet. But put on the whole armor of God. Why? So that you can resist who? The devil's arrow. Are they aiming at your head? No. But they can get your head too. They are aiming at your heart. But they can also get your head too. So put on. The whole armor of God. Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. If I won one battle, the strength that I used to win that battle is the same strength that I need to win all the battles. You see, friends, why even in our marriages we fail? Because we put a lot of. Hey. He did. Sitla yuwe kagia tu sada he did. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ata ukiitwa na baba yako. Na mko na date na Alice. Oh, oh, by the way, wakatu wetu wakuku wana simu. Kwa hivyo wange nisha. Na tena haku wako alikuwa me. Ame hama chaka bisa. But I'm saying, umeitu. Sini wambie vile munafanyaga. Mteja wa nambari ulio piga. Mpatikani ya kusasa. Sasa mzazi ya nashinda akiuliza mtoto wako wapi. Halipewa date. <laughs> na akija takupastori na mafriko na yo. Na matatu nazo jo. Na hiyo tuk tuk. Tuk tuk nazo. Hata kwa bia story walikuwa pali wakijua chai. Pole pole. 
wakizungumza good things for nothing. <laughs> but we put a lot of effort there. Oh my goodness. Oh, we, even some of you now thinking you're wondering, Bishop, finish. TRM, we have agreed it is at 11.30. Oh, and maybe you're even looking at where did he come to church. Why? Because TRM, it is 11.30. Please hear what I'm telling you. It might save you 11.30. It might help you. Man, the battle who we, we put. Uh, there is a coup in Kenya. And I'm walking across from Karura through Dendero, Karugongo, Kanyungu, Karura itself, Ginyawangi, to go and see whether Alice is safe. No, I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. You put in a lot of effort there. Then you forget after you I do. Now the battle starts there. But because you did not carry the same momentum, whether there is a coup or no coup, this is my, the queen of my, oh, we cannot be scared of Kwanza. So here you are. You, you put in the same strength because the battles that come, you're going to win them the same way you won the first one. I don't know whether I have people here who can say amen for that. Because the truth of the matter is, we put a lot of effort before, and then we put very little after. And if you want your marriage to thrive, oh brother, the same way, Peter, the same effort, Sangura, the same effort, Buana. Let's see you put in the same effort, John, the same effort, and your marriage will be successful. Because we are going to win by putting on the whole armor. The children of Israel failed that. They did not put the whole armor. Go. Now when they won, when the battle was won, the children of Israel realized they needed first of all to go back and have a covenant with God. Because you know friends, it is when we get into a covenant with God. It is always a reminder. A covenant reminds you where you are, reminds you who you are, reminds you who is on your side, reminds you the battle that you're going to win because of Jesus. A covenant is good. Every time you win something, make a covenant. Build an altar. For us that children went to high school, let's build an altar every time and remind yourself and struggle with the same way. Now some of you the same. Actually, you are not late. Ile struggle tulikuwa nayo December, November tukiomba mtihani na wakapita. You don't need to go back. Put on the whole armor and wage war for your daughter, wage war for your son. Because where they have gone, there are others that are waging war towards them. Wage war. Fight. Let your daughter, let your son find their place this time. Let them find their place there. In the seal, let them find their place in God. Pray and fight the battle. Put on the whole armor of God. Don't just put it when you're looking for, uh, for finance. Put it even when you're looking for their spiritual life and their future. May yeah, I like some people who are crazy. You know, there are some people here that are crazy. Mama Akipata Mimba, Wanaanza Kuomba. Oh, are crazy. They pray very crazy, crazy prayers. Wanaombea huyo mtoto. As a live with proper. What I'm wearing, I'm taught. As long as you're poor. What I'm wearing, I'm taught. I end in high school poor. What I'm wearing, I'm taught. I end in university poor. Now I just live with. What I'm wearing, I'm taught. Apart from to akumuwa wamzuri na when gine, this is this is what you're going to do again. So we're going to do it. 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 We're so you find the father and the mother, they are all praying. Jiaru, 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 But nowadays they know, they tell you. Actually they enjoy us. 
Great. So what I'm saying is this. That crazy prayer is important. That you're praying for a future. You're praying, may this young man or this young woman, that will be found by my son, my daughter. May they be this, may they be that. But some of you wait until to meletu akwako. Una muangalia. Una angalia. Before you say it, start now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Start now. Put on the whole armor of God because the victory that you're going to win will need the same stamina, the same strength, the same battle gear that you had before. It will be the same one that you need. In the name of Jesus, put on the whole armor of God. Ah, covenant. Eh? Covenant. Covenant. <coughs> so Joshua built an altar to the Lord God of Israel in Mount Ebo. Ebo. Another very hopeless place to be found. Ebo. A very encouraging place to be found. It was a mountain called the Heap of Barrenness. So here he is at that heap of barrenness. It doesn't matter where I am. At that heap of my barrenness, I'm going to put an altar there. No wonder it is important to hear what God is saying because he says, go back to I, but this time I've given you I. But after they want that Mount Ebo, the Mount of Barrenness, there he builds an altar. I'm going to build my altar wherever I find myself. Why? Because it is where God orders me to. At, Mount, uh, 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 at, at that Mount Ebo, they had to travel about 30 miles or so. They had to travel out to go to that place. Why? Because there in Deuteronomy, Moses had said something. Oh man, an altar is good. Why? It reminds you the covenant of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So what does it say in Deuteronomy 27? Deuteronomy 27 is a very interesting uh, place to find. Now Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you today. And it shall be on the day when you cross over Jordan to the land which the Lord your God is giving you. That you shall set up for yourself large stones and whitewash them with lime. You shall write on them all the words of this law. When you have crossed over that, you may enter the land which the Lord your God is giving you. A land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord had promised you. Therefore it shall be, when you have crossed over the Jordan, that on Mount Ebel, you shall set up these stones which I command you today. Moses was commanding them to that day for what they were going to do after they conquered Jericho and I. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And there you shall be in an altar to the Lord your God. You shall have a peace offering. You shall eat there and rejoice before the Lord your God. And you shall write very plainly on the stones all the words of this law. That was commanded a long time. And then we are saying in Joshua 8, Joshua did the same things that he was commanded by the Lord. And you know what? One of the things that is very interesting is there is also another thing that Moses commanded the people. He said on the same day, he said, This shall you stand on Mount Gerizim. The same day you are on Mount Ebo, you also will be on Mount Gerizim. You are going to be there at the same time. I like that. You are going to be at the same time where Gerizim, which means cutting off. You are going to cut off from all the curses and the sins that were there before you. You will be at Gerizim at one time. You will be at the heap of barrenness at the same time. And you will be doing certain things. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, I like this. 
And all the people shall say, Amen. This is what he's telling them. At that day when you stand there, this is what is going to happen. You're going to read this. Cast is a man who makes a calf or more than image. Abomination to the Lord, the work of the hands of the craftsmen. Tell it upon in a secret. And all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And so Joshua has come that I, there is a big valley in between a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, kilometers. And then on this side there is Ebo. And this side there is, there is one. And they cut the children of Israel into two halves. One half is on one side. The other one is on one side. And I like this. Why? Because it helps you to keep your focus. Blessed the name of the Lord. So one side on this side is telling the other one. I think uh, 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 the one in Ebo are starting by telling their brothers, Cast is the one who treats his father or his mother with the contempt. And all the people on the other side say, Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. So they continue to say, Cast is the one who moves his neighbor's landmark. And the people in Garrison says, Amen. Let that be. Nobody shall steal from the other. And they continue talking about the curses and the curses and the curses. And then changes to chapter number 28. Now this is a good one. Now it shall come to pass, he's still telling them, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to carefully, all his commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth, and all this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Then the people in Gaisim are telling the others, whoa, 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 they are telling them, brothers, blessed shall you be the city. And they say what? Amen. Blessed shall you be the country. And they say what? Amen. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body. And they say, Amen. The produce of your ground shall have increased. And they say, Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. May God give you that victory. And for us that have received that victory, we need to remind each other, cast is the person who walks this way. But blessed is the man who walks this way. Which part you want to be? I started by telling you Bethel, where Abraham uh, uh, built between Bethel, because we build between Bethel and I. Bethel means the house of God, and I means a heap of ruins. So it all depends where are you going to build. Are you going to build in the ruins, or are you going to build in the house of God? And I choose to build in the house of God. I choose to walk in the blessings that God has given, given me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is so good. I want you to stand up and look at someone. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Hey. Now I feel like I want to start preaching when I'm supposed to go. But it is alright. I want to read a few scriptures, but there's one that I want you to repeat to your neighbor. A neighbor that uh, you know they are good neighbors. You know it's good to stay with good neighbors? Hallelujah. He who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. Look at that neighbor, tell them, if you abide yourself in the sacred place of the Most High, you shall abide under the shadow. Then he continues to say, for me I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. This is what I want you to tell them. Please look at them and tell them. Close your Bibles and look at them and tell them this. Surely. Surely. Tell them again like you mean it. Surely. Surely. Not, maybe. Not maybe. Surely. Surely. Not I think. Not but surely. 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 He, he will deliver you. Yeah. Now tell them again. He, he will deliver you. Yeah. You know it does not matter where you are the moment. He shall deliver you. From the snare of the fowler and the pestilence that roam around. Look at another one. Maybe that one had no faith in you. Look at another one. Tell them, surely, surely, he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the pestilence that roam around you. Look at another one. Maybe that one had, was joking with you. Tell them, surely, he shall deliver you from the snares of the fowler and the pestilence that roam around you. Look at the, the first, the last one. Tell them surely the Lord will deliver you.
deliver you from the snares. 